Welcome back. We have some breaking news out of Washington. Kayla Tausche with the details. Kayla. Kelly, the Department of Homeland Security has announced that customs agents will be turning away products from China in five different categories that they say are sourced from forced labor in China's Xinjiang region, where uh, the Muslim minority in China has been housed for several years at this point. The products fall into categories like textiles, certain cottons and linens, to computer parts and certain hair products as well. And while DHS officials couldn't say the exact dollar figure of these amounts, uh, they did say that this is a continuation of the administration's strategy to crack down on the practice of what they are now calling uh, Chinese uh, regimes holding these people in concentration camps. Uh, they said that it's really difficult to pinpoint the dollar figure of how much trade this represents because oftentimes these products are going through other countries and then arriving in the United States. They did acknowledge that they narrowed the focus of these orders uh, to these specific pro products from a region-wide effort because they wanted it to be legally unassailable, but they did say, Kelly, to expect more to come. Back and to you. Kayla, if that's the case, I wonder if it's a coincidence this comes after Disney, in a very high-profile way, called out leaders in these parts of the Chinese country, thanking them for filming in that region and accommodating them and leading many to wonder why they should be able to do business there if now we're saying that other parts of the supply chain can't. Yeah, and certainly DHS has been in contact, Treasury as well, with many companies who source products from these regions uh, purposefully or inadvertently. Uh, over the last two years, this effort has been going on among some of those companies, Gap, Abercrombie, Adidas, and others. I asked about how easy it would be for some of these companies to source replacements elsewhere in the supply chain. DHS did not have an answer for that, but certainly this is something that's been ongoing for a while, and there's an even bigger spotlight on that region now.